the spare fishing sign differentiating mucin from mural nodules in pancreatic cysts primary author shifa umar secondary author vinay chandrasekhar author disclosures keywords equipment Mural nodules are predictors of malignancy in mucus-producing cystic neoplasms of the pancreas. The presence of a mural nodule is a consensus criterion for resection of these cysts. Inspissated mucin can be confused for mural nodules. However, these are not high-risk findings and do not warrant additional interventions. Therefore, it is critical to be able to differentiate mucin from mural nodules. Prior study at our institute demonstrated CT has a 24% sensitivity and 100% specificity for detecting mural nodules, while EUS detected mural nodules with 75% sensitivity and 83% specificity. Mucus was often diagnosed by using change in body position and fine needle aspiration. Inter-observer analysis identified three features that distinguished mucus from mural nodules, namely echogenicity of the lesion, edge of the lesion, and presence of a hyperechoic rim. A 43-year-old female with past medical history of right-sided breast cancer, status post-lumpectomy, and radiation on hormonal therapy was referred to Pancreas Clinic for evaluation of a pancreatic head slash uncinate cyst. CT demonstrated a cystic lesion in the pancreatic head measuring approximately 33 by 28 by 41 millimeter. No enhancing mural nodularity or convincing soft tissue components were reported. MRI reported slightly lobulated pancreatic cystic mass in the head slash uncinate process with a 9 mm non-enhancing cystic nodule. EUS was performed and an echoic lesion suggestive of a cyst was identified in the uncinate process of the pancreas with thin septation. There was no obvious communication with the pancreatic duct. An intracystic lesion was identified with a smooth hyperechoic outer rim and a hyperechoic center favoring a mucin ball. The cyst was measured to be 41.4 by 26 millimeters, with intracystic lesion measuring 7.5 by 11.4 millimeters. The FNA needle was introduced into the cyst. Initially, the cyst could not be selectively targeted, so fluid was first aspirated to partially collapse the cyst. The lesion was then in a favorable location for sampling. The FNA needle was used to puncture the intracystic lesion, which was detached from the cyst wall and mobile. This is described as the spare fishing sign. FNA fluid analysis was consistent with MLA's 69,410 modestly elevated CA of 47 with abundant mucin and cytology negative for malignancy. Overall impression was branch duct IPMN with one worrisome feature and the intracystic lesion was identified to be inspissated mucin, not a mural nodule. Given the presence of only one worrisome feature, a multidisciplinary evaluation decision was made to observe the patient with surveillance MRCP in six months. Mural nodules are often too small to be seen on cross-sectional imaging. Distinguishing a mural nodule on EUS with mucin is challenging. It is important to differentiate intramural nodules versus mucin, as subsequent management includes surgical resection with potentially serious implications. FNA is performed. Maneuvers such as dislodging or moving an echogenic lesion can help differentiate mucin with mural nodule. When a mural nodule is punctured with a FNA needle, it remains intact and immobile. Conversely, when mucin ball is punctured, it detaches from the cyst wall and is mobile. During examination of an intracystic lesion, presence of hyperechoic rim and evaluating the echogenicity and edge of the lesion is helpful but there is high inter-observer variability. 
The spare fishing sign is easier to identify and interpret and may help endoscopists to better identify mucin balls masquerading as mural nodules.